studied every single science, math, programming, medicine, engineering, and electrical engineering. And I figured out that the afterlife is physically measurable, derivable, using science, and the only physical way to make it good is for everyone to become as intelligent as I am. Jesus, lay off the bath salts. So when I was scrolling on YouTube, I stumbled upon a video about this guy called Kitsune Cell, which has been heavily covered by a YouTuber called FFI for the past two months, which helped introduce me to this coked up Charles Manson. So shout out to him. I need to get myself a pop filter someday. There are a couple clips of him that date back from weeks ago to months ago. And if you were like me and had no idea who this guy was before you clicked on this video, the thumbnail probably gives you a good idea of the rabbit hole you're about to go down. But I'm sure this guy likes those, specifically the underdeveloped ones, because this guy is like the VR chat boogeyman, creeping around like an enderman, but instead of stealing blocks, he steals your kids. Anyway, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button before I smash your mom. It's quick, easy, and helps support the channel. For months, people have made clips of when they found this guy in VR chat. At, and he's about as unhinged as the local crack addict on the street. He'll go in these schizophrenic ramblings to anyone who will listen to him, including the children he dates, consisting of white supremacy to biochemists turning frogs gay. There's no limits to this guy, from being the diddler to hiling Hitler. One of the first known victims to this guy is someone by the name of Cosmo, who had met Kitsune in VR chat when he was 16, and would go on to message him on Discord. And while he was normal at first, he started showing his true self over time, and by that of course, I mean an absolute crackhead, saying weird, racist, and even sexual things to the 16 year old, who rightly knew what was happening and called him out in the DMs. And in general, Kitsune is completely mentally ill in these DMs. He even loves racism so much he made his own poem about it. Mozart's been real quiet since this dropped. And I know this guy doesn't understand or care about consent in the first place, but this shit is just ridiculous. And of course, this isn't the only minor that this guy has been weird to, since the Shankumhuffer finds and talks to children like it's some sort of hobby, having his own ditty parties with the local preschoolers. And I know I usually joke about these kind of people touching elementary schoolers at the back of the playground, but some of these kids straight up sound like they're 8 or 9, so this shit might not even be an exaggeration. Hi friend. Hey, Gigmar. Oh, shit. I'm not sure how development could possibly go this wrong besides smoking while pregnant. He's pretty much every possible bad thing in the book. Sexist, racist, a pedo, and he talks like half his brain is working, which explains his weird-ass ideologies. It's even to the point where people have speculated he has some sort of psychosis, and when you see the clips that other people have made of this guy, he acts the exact same. Females are not physically capable of becoming as intelligent as males are potential to become. Is that what you talk slow? And forming new sentences requires time you smoke weed? for any human. There, there's, there's, no way, there's no way to form a new sentence. Why does this guy speak like he's on horse tranquilizer? And for someone who likes to preach about how they're the most intelligent person in the world, he sure as hell doesn't act like it, and it doesn't help that he's built like a it's Minecraft like skeleton. A and when I say he likes to talk about it a lot, I really do mean that. He says the same bullshit word for word pretty much every time someone talks to him about all of the sciences he supposedly studied. He likes to claim that women aren't as intelligent as men, even though he can't put a full sentence together, at least one that makes sense, and he talks like an early AI model. I'd feel bad for him if he didn't say this type of shit and didn't touch kitty titties, but apparently not touching kids is too much of an ask, and when you hear other people come forward about their experiences with him, it starts to sound like a straight up cult, but instead of drinking laced Kool-Aid, it's a 30 year old man licking kids in VR chat. While FFI has stated that the police know about this guy, I'm not sure exactly what's happening with him right now, but figuring out where this guy is is like playing a game of Where's Waldo, both in real life and online, as he has a tendency to switch to different accounts, like when he goes under the name of DevX, when one of his VR chat accounts were banned, and I even found a video of someone finding him a few days ago. Don't lie to me, come on, I know who you are, I recognize that voice anywhere. It's weird. Bro's not even answering my question! Oh my god, it is fucking kids himself! So Shit like this is why I wish people under the age of 18 would stop using things like VR chat, because kids shouldn't be mingling with random ass adults. And of course, it isn't just exclusively a Discord or VR chat thing. Honestly, you shouldn't be using social media in general if you're under the age of 18, unless it's with your friends or people who you can genuinely trust. Because as it's been shown time and time again, it's almost never a good idea. Hopefully the police end up catching up with this guy and he gets put in the 
slamming. But that's all I have for now, so bye.